Okay, our next question is coming from Mike. Mike, please go ahead. Mike from where? Mike from the Boston area. How are you, Ron? Oh, Mike and Kathy. Okay. That's right. All right. Well, let me give them yours. You got a $1.2 million asking price. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll cut to the chase on this. Um, okay. th this one turned into a suspect. Just got an email back from him. so He's not I, interested in what? Um, well, uh, I, when I talked to the seller, he wasn't quite sure about whether his wife wanted I, I found him on Craigslist. He was a rental. Okay, um, so his wife turned it down, huh? I think his wife turned it down, but right. he had sent. A, he had said, "Oh, send me a contract, and I'll review it, and then we'll yeah. talk on Monday night." You don't ever and do that, Mike. Never. I know I don't ever do that, but I wanted. I had to felt like I had to honor his request. No, but, you don't uh, have to honor his request, and the answer is right in your terms, of course, when he asks you that question. And here it is. Well, I'd love to send you a contract, but I wouldn't know how to fill in the blanks until we get together and get the terms ironed out. In order to do that, mm -hmm. I need to get my questions answered now. Then I'll come take a look, and if we agree, then I'll leave you with a contract. Yeah, okay. yeah. I should maybe I killed this this potential one, but uh, maybe it's a follow up for an option. Well, uh, don't worry because sometimes you do have one party telling you yes. I just had that myself not very long ago. I had a million dollar deal totally negotiated until the wife axed it. Mm. But um, you know, sometimes they come right back around to this guy owes a five hundred thousand dollars on this house, so it ain't like he's right. not going to be motivated here. <laughs> 